When I started school and when I was in about fourth grade, I met a girl who was in like acting classes. And it suddenly clicked in my brain, like this is something people do for a living. This is something people do for their careers. And my mom and dad are always very supportive because they always work jobs that they didn't love and that they hated. And so it was really important for them to raise their children doing something that they loved. When I found out I got the purge, I was at home um, with my family and I, I got the call and I knew, I saw the caller ID and I knew like this is, this is the yes or this is the no. Honestly, it's a role of a lifetime. Hey. It's our time, sweetie. Our time to escape all the pain. We only get scripts a couple of days before we film each episode. So I'm discovering the story as we go on, just like all of you guys will when you watch. I didn't say it in there because I didn't want them to hear. What? Say what? I know who you're looking for. Your sister. And I know where you need to go, but you ain't gonna like it. I love Gabe so much. We, um, I truly feel like we were brother and sister in another life. <laughs> I really do, and it's kind of funny because Miguel and Penelope have this relationship where even though Penelope is younger by several years, she kind of takes care of him. So I feel that way with Gabe and I too. <laughs> I feel like we filmed in New Orleans and there would be times where I'm like, it's four in the morning in a club, it's time to go home, Gabe. <laughs> you were there when your parents crossed over. Did they suffer? Yes, but only because they didn't want to die. They fought against it instead of giving in. There was no good leader to guide them. I spent so long trying to forget what happened. Losing the only people who ever loved me. Miguel and Penelope's parents died in the very first purge. The, you know, it's just us together. He's the only family I have. I'm the only family he has. She ends up in this cult. And their belief is that if on purge night, instead of going out to purge like a lot of people do, they're going out um, to be purged. They believe that that sacrifice will release the purgers of their sins and their hatreds and the anger and hate that they have in their hearts. And therefore this giving will be rewarded. Tonight that suffering ends, my darlings. I will be your guide into the invisible where there is no pain only love. And so she kind of gets mixed up in this cult and it's up to Miguel to hopefully find her before she gives. What's your sister's name? Penelope girl. Oh, I'm sorry, she checked out a few months ago. Ch checked out? I mean, there would be stuff that I would hear about where I knew that they weren't likely gonna go for someone who looked like me. But I didn't care. <laughs> I wanted to audition. I would put myself on tape and I would be like, look, just send this to them. If they don't watch it, that's on them, but it's not gonna be on me. I feel like I've always kind of only experienced this movement of um, being inclusive and trying to do better. And of course, there's always moments where it's the effort isn't there or the effort isn't genuine either. But I think, it, I think it is changing. I think it is getting better. And I think it's important to also not wait for that, to just put yourself out there and do it. Yeah.